All right, so we're going to look at solving uh, problems for with linear velocity. Uh, these are the examples that I'm going to work. Uh, example 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. You can take a look at them. Each problem will have its own video. So this will be video uh, example 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And there's 5. It's and Check it out. It has a little little twist to it there so you know check them out so but before we get into looking at the problems let's look and see linear velocity it says if P is a point on a circle of radius R and P, and P moves a distance s on the circumference of the circle in an amount of time T then the linear velocity V of P is given by the formula uh, v equals s over t, where s is theta times r, and theta is in radians. So basically, s, you should recognize this formula. This is just the formula for arc length. Okay, And it's important that you make sure that theta is in radians. Okay, And also, to find the linear velocity, we can write uh, the linear velocity v is equal to r times omega and omega is the angular velocity so if you know the angular velocity and the radius just plug it in there and that'll give you the linear velocity also alright so let's take a look at an example alright so here we have example three uh, doing some applications with uh, linear velocity. All right, so it says a satellite traveling in a circular orbit 1600 kilometers above the surface of Earth takes two hours to make an orbit. The radius of Earth is 6400 kilometers. Find the linear speed of the satellite. All right, so let's go ahead and let's just write the formula. So we know the linear velocity is s over t and we have we know s is theta times r where theta is in radians r is the radius of the of the circle all right so let's maybe let's come over here and draw a picture all right so i've got i've got the earth here i know that's not the best circle but it'll do now it says that the satellite is up here 1600 kilometers above Earth and it's orbiting the Earth in a circle. Well, the radius is the 16 is I'm sorry, the 6400 kilometers that's the radius plus the 1600 kilometers that it's above the Earth. Okay? So the 6400 plus the 1600, that would be our radius. R is the 6400, which is the radius of the Earth, plus the 1600, the distance it's above Earth, and that is equal to 8,000 kilometers. Okay, so there's our radius. Now, we need to get the angle. All right, so theta, all right, well, it says it takes two hours to make an orbit. So that's one time around the Earth. So when it goes one time around the Earth, that's 360 degrees. Or since we need theta in radians, that would be what? 2 pi. And so our angle that it makes is 2 pi radians. So that gives me S is equal to 8,000 times 2 pi. So that's 16,000 pi. That's S. All right. So now let's go ahead and find our linear velocity. So that's S, which is 16,000 pi okay, over T. All right. Now, the, the angle that it made is 2 pi. Now, how long did it take it to make that angle? Okay. 
Well, it took it two hours. So our time t is two. And so this would be 8,000 pi, okay, 8,000 pi. Now what's the units? Well, they didn't tell us what units to put it in, okay. So what we'll do is we'll look at this. This is in kilometers. Our time is in hours. So we'll just put kilometers per hour. And if you wanted to, you could do 8,000 times pi, and you could put 25, let's see, 25, 25,132.74 kilometers per hour. So I don't know if your teacher wants you to write the decimal out like that or just leave it in terms of pi, whatever. They're both correct. All right. So I hope the video helped. Check out my other videos and uh, give me a like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.